Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're talking about Torneau was actually sold sold to the Bucarer group. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Bucarer is a group uh, that is located in Lucerne in Switzerland. They have a whole jewelry line and they're one of the biggest uh, authorized dealers or um, you know, good authorized dealers of many watch brands as well. It's a family owned business and it dates all the way back to 1888. But anyway, um, so the Tor Torneau LLC, or the Torneau Company, was actually sold um, prior to this for about, you know, upwards of, you know, $350 million to Leonard Green and Partners back in, I believe that was in 2006. Now, Torneau has a long history. They actually uh, have been around since 1930 when they opened their first shop uh, selling watches. And they even created some of their own timepieces as well. But since sales were falling, they've been looking for a buyer for the past couple of months. Uh, nobody seemed to bite, but they finally found a buyer. Um, the amount that they purchased the company for, for seems to be more than $355 million U.S. dollars. Um, but they don't actually disclose the exact dollar amount. Now, what do I think uh, about this? Well, you know, Torneau kind of, in my opinion... It's a good place to look at watches and even buy watches if you want to pay full retail price. Um, I've purchased, I would say, four or five watches at full retail price in my in my history of watch collecting from the Torneau stores. I've never received a discount, not once, even on the third or fourth purchase from the same store. Um, they they really don't care about their customers, it seems. But um, you know, the Torneau in New York City, the Time Machine, is a really cool place. Um, some people have, you know, mixed feelings about going in there. Some people go in there, they get ignored, um, they're not taken seriously. But, um, you know, I've never really had a problem. I've always went in there and looked at every single piece I've wanted to. You just have to ask, and, uh, you know, they'll let you look at the watches. If you just stand there, uh, you know, looking around in circles, nobody's going to come and help you. So the main thing that uh, Bucherer is going to do, you know, they do own Carl F. Bucherer, the watch brand as well. They want to introduce the watches to the United States market and their lines of jewelry, which are pretty high-end and luxurious. And hopefully they can succeed in doing that. Um, Carl F. Bucherer produces some pretty cool watches. Um, they're not really that popular. And, you know, I, I like some of their models. Uh, their diver is pretty cool. And, you know, they produce a decent Swiss watch. It's a luxury watch. But, um, yeah, all that being said, I think it's kind of the right direction. They need, a, you know, kind of a refreshment, considering that, you know, a lot of people have negative feelings about Torno. They walk in there, they kind of feel like, you know, they don't belong there, or, you know, they're being looked down on and stuff like that. And, you know, that's not right. Maybe they can bring, you know, a better customer service to the actual end consumer, being you, the customer. Um, as Bucarer does, they have a very good reputation um, in all of their boutiques uh, throughout Switzerland and they have all around the world. I believe they have a few other locations around the world. Um, yeah, maybe they can, you know, kind of improve on all of that good stuff. Now, that's pretty much going to be it for today. Uh, I actually did write an article on this on the blog watchaddictchannel.com that went up yesterday. Um, I think it went up yesterday around 11 p.m. at night. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoy. Follow me on Instagram and check out the blog in the uh, description below. Bye.